exciting 24 hours on Perth television. Telethon 1985, the year the biggest pop star in the world dropped into Perth to say hi. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Perth for Telethon 1985, Michael Jackson. It was the year Jackson's album Thriller was thrilling his fans. The King of Pop helped to set a telethon record of $2.8 million that year. I'm happy to be here. Everybody has been so wonderful and so kind. It's worth the trip. It's a long flight, but it's worth it. Jackson, a major supporter of children's charities, came to Perth just for telethon. There were no concerts. This visit was just for the kids, including sick children at Princess Margaret Hospital. At Jackson's only outdoor appearance organized by Telethon, fans tried to rush the stage. Jackson made a hasty exit. Helen Francis was one of the two Telethon children that year. Hi, what's your name? Helen. Hello, so hello, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi. So sweet. Aged just four and a half, she admits she didn't really know what all the fuss was about. Both me and Luke looked at the guy. Like, who is he? But 24 years on, and Helen remembers meeting Jackson like it was yesterday. Most of all, her reaction when the pop star reached over and stroked her face. And this is what, this is what <laughs> telephone's all about. The whole world heard me tell Michael Jackson his hands were cold to go away. Mr. Telethon, Channel 7's own Jeff Newman, says Jackson's visit was a major television coup. He was everything that... Uh epitomised a star. He was a star. The late Robert Holmes Accord engineered it all. Jackson wanted to buy the rights to the Beatles music catalogue. Holmes Accord was happy to sell, but made Telethon a part of the deal. And Robert Holmes Accord, a great deal maker. So he uh, said, yes, I'll sell it to you, providing you come out to Perth for Telethon. And you can imagine the reaction. Where's Perth? But uh, they, they, he said yes. <laughs> the death